In the last video, we talked about single file components, which is basically a view file. In our project, we have one view file, which is app.view. We learned that a view file can contain three blocks, namely the template block, the script block, and the style block. I also mentioned that the script block contains the data and the logic for the template block, which ultimately is responsible for the UI. In this video, let's understand how to bind that data from the script block to the template block. More specifically, let's start with binding text from the script to the template. In the template, if we were to type div hello vishwas and save the file, take a look at the browser, you can see the same being displayed. However, this is static text which can never change. In web applications though, the UI is usually data driven. Content you see in the browser can be dynamic and needs to change based on the application state. So we need to maintain the data in the script block and then bind the data to the HTML. In our example, we need to bind this name property from the data object to the HTML defined above. To do that, we use what is called the mustache syntax in Vue. It is a pair of curly braces and within the curly braces, you specify the property in the data object. In our case, it is the name property. So instead of the text vishwas, specify double curly braces and then name. Name here corresponds to this data property. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, our output is still the same. Change name to Batman and we see the text, hello Batman. Now this method of binding text using the mustache syntax is called as text interpolation. At runtime, the mustache tag will be replaced with the value of the name property from the corresponding data object. And the good thing is unlike static text, the value in the template will also be updated whenever the name property changes. We will see more on changing data in the later videos. Now the mustache syntax can be used as part of a larger string like in this example or it can also be the only content of the HTML element. For example, if I remove hello, the UI displays just Batman. Also, you can have multiple mustaches within a single HTML element. So back in VS Code, let me add another data property called greet and set it to hello. And in the div tag, we can add another mustache syntax. This time we bind the greet data property. Save the file and take a look at the browser. Text interpolation works as expected. We see hello Batman. Now there is also a second way to bind text and that is using a directive. A directive is nothing but a special HTML attribute and in Vue, each directive has a v hyphen prefix. The directive used for binding text is v hyphen text. Let's look at an example. Let's create another data property called channel and set it to code evolution. Here is the syntax to bind this value. Div tag and we add a special attribute, which is a directive. We text, and this is going to be equal to the data property, channel. Notice that the inner text of the div HTML element is left blank. This is because the vText directive replaces the data property value as the inner text of the HTML element. If we save the file and head to the browser, you can see that the text binding works as expected and code evolution is displayed in the browser. Now the only drawback of the vText directive 
is that it replaces the entire text content of the HTML element with the data property value. So if you wanted something like hello Batman using the name data property only, it is not possible with the vtext directive. Let me show you an example. If I add a div tag where the inner text says hello and we use vtext directive to bind name, save and head to the browser, our linter in fact throws an error. It mentions that vtext will override element children. So if you have partial static text and you want to add some dynamic binding, mustache syntax is the way to go. So to summarize, in Vue, there are two ways to bind text. We have the mustache syntax and also the vtext directive. You can use the mustache syntax to bind partial or full text content in an HTML element, whereas vtext can only be used to bind full text content. If you want to dynamically update a property value, the recommended way is to use the mustache syntax as it evaluates slightly faster compared to the vtext directive. And to be honest, vtext is one of those directives that is very rarely used. However, when learning, we should learn them all and that was my intention for this video on binding text in Vue. In the next video, let's take a look at another directive which definitely is a lot more useful.